Hi everyone, the purpose of this screencast is to help you with completing your child's enrollment at St Albans Secondary College. And this first one is showing you how to log into our Compass interface so that you can complete the enrollment tasks. So the very first thing to do is find the email that you were sent by St Albans Secondary College. And if you can't find this email, please contact our front office staff to assist you. So your email will look very similar to this with an introduction and it will outline the steps that you need to complete. Before you start the enrollment completion process, I would strongly recommend that you have the following documents ready to be attached to your application. And this can be in the form of PDFs or a JPEG if you can take a picture of the document to upload as part of the enrollment process. So the documents that you will need to have ready First of all, a copy of your child's birth certificate. If your child's birth certificate is not in English, we do require an English copy. It can be translated, so if you could please provide us with an English copy of your child's birth certificate. The second thing we require are two elements for your proof of residency. The first thing is a copy of your current utility bill, either gas or electricity, with both your name and address on it as the account holder, as well as a current copy of a rates notice or a lease agreement, again with your name, and the address of the property on it. The third thing you need to have ready, if the student that you are enrolling was born overseas, we do need to have access to a copy of their current visa. If they're on a bridging visa, please provide a copy of both the bridging visa as well as the previous visa that they held. And finally, if your child has asthma but doesn't have an asthma plan yet, can you please print the attached document, which I'll show you in a second. It's been attached to the email that you have received. Please print it out, have your family doctor complete it and upload it to the link provided to ensure that in case of your child having an asthma attack, we can support them. So your asthma plan will look like this and it's one of the PDF attachments to the email that you've received. If you speak a language other than English, we do have some translations of the um, instructions for the enrollment process, and those have also been attached to the email you received under translations. It looks like this document, and there are translations in Vietnamese, in Mandarin, in Arabic, and in Samoan. All right, so to log in to the Compass into Compass to be able to enroll your child. You need, as I said, to have your to be have your email, the email that the school sent you, and just check that we have both the link there, the enrollment link, which shows you as Albans SC hyphen Vic Compass Education slash enroll, and then make sure that you have as well your unique temporary Compass login details, shown here as the offer ID, as well as the PIN. These are the details that you need to log in. So let's have a look at what the page looks like when you click on that link above. So when you click on the enrollment link in the email you receive from St Albans Secondary College, you'll be directed to this web page. You can see Compass, St Albans Secondary College, as well as your offer ID and PIN numbers. So to log in, please put in your specific offer ID in the correct place there, followed now by your PIN. And press Login to Enrollments. This will show you a page giving you some of the information about your enrollment process, such as the offer status, the year level your child will be entering, the year in which your child will be starting, as well as when your offer expires. So scroll down the page. Just a reminder here about some of the documents you will need to have ready to upload to your enrollment application. And finally, here at the bottom, if you wish to decline the enrollment offer at St Albans Secondary College, please click on the pink button that says Decline Enrollment Offer. However, if you do wish to continue with the enrollment process at St Albans Secondary College, please press Continue. This will take you through to the electronic student enrollment 
and you can see as you complete, if you can see here on the right, as you complete each section, save and continue, the green tick shows which sections you have completed correctly and fully. If at any point you need to pause the enrollment form and come back to it later, you can absolutely do that. Please, as I said before, ensure that you've pressed save and continue beforehand and you will be able to come back into it later using the same login details if necessary. So you can see here, these sections in green were sections that I have actually already completed earlier and I've just logged back in again now. So as long as you've pressed save and continue, the sections that you've filled in so far will remain as they were as you filled them in.